Okay, uh, today I'm looking at three tools that I found that I can use um, with my coding classes and with uh, in general classes as well. And these, these, uh, these tools are basically uh, useful for me to create content for students. Um, in, uh, in my courses, I have to uh, a lot of times provide students with code to, to work from and uh, explain how to use code. Um, mostly in Java. So the first one I'm looking at here is what's called code blocks and it is a add-in for Google Docs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate quickly how it works and show you how this little cool little extension makes it so I can create um, interesting content and um, make the code look more as it would in a code editor for the students when I present something in, in a, a Google Doc. All right, so looking at this, I first pulled up a Google Doc and I made this uh, quick little do Google Doc. And we're going to be doing if statements um, in Java soon. So what I thought I would do is kind of get this one started and show you how this starts. And I'll finish it up later. But for right now, I'm going to um, insert some code. So I'll go to edit and I'm going to paste it in here. And you see here's the code. Now, as it looks right now, this is not exactly the way it would look in a code editor. So this code block extension and the way I pull it up, let me just show you from the beginning. I go to here, add-ins, and then code blocks and start. And then it's working and you see that. And then if I highlighted that section, then I click format and it changes it into code. And this is the way it would look in a code editor. Now I can continue working in the document and make it look the way the students would like to see it. And it's a really cool tool for um, doing what I'm doing. Okay, now the next one, and I'm gonna leave this for right now. It has been saved, close it up. Um, the next one I was looking at and that I found was another one that does something similar in Microsoft Word, it's called easy code formatter and I have already um, followed the steps where it says get it now it's free I downloaded and installed it into my word um, document or word um, Microsoft Word on my computer and looking here we see this and we got what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing I did in the other one and I'm gonna show you how this one looks and it actually does look a little different um, I don't know which one I prefer as of yet still considering that so I'm gonna do um, I'm on here in this, I'm gonna do edit, and then um, I'm going to paste, and I'm gonna paste it unformatted. And whenever you're pasting code, you always wanna paste it unformatted. So I'll paste it unformatted, and you see how it looks. Um, they do get the tabs, and it does look pretty good. However, it's not exactly the way it ought to look. So I highlight it, and then if you look here on the top, it's called Easy Code Formatter. I click on that. Um, format text as code, and it would format the text that I highlighted only. And you see how that looks. Now, I actually kinda like this one better um, than the other one, it just glancing at it. Uh, it does have um, line numbers and everything else. And if I wanted to go back in and edit it, I could actually, so there's an extra line in here, so let me just show you how this looks. Um, I can, ooh, edit and pull that line out if I want to, and I could go in and edit the code in this Word document, and then continue working on and uh, continue with my text and regular um, instructions. So that is my um, other one that I wanted to look at. Let me close this up. Um, the third uh, extension I have is actually what is it? It's a Chrome extension. And you see right here, I've installed this one, which is called Save Page. And what it does is it allows you to take an, a, a web page and, and saves it as an HTML file, a single HTML file, um, so that you can edit it um, offline or you can just look at the code if you need to. So uh, I'm gonna show you how that works and in order to make sure that I'm not stealing anything from anybody, I am going to um, grab a page that I have made, which is the computer science page for Pope High School. And if I look at this, and then the way I use this is I first click on Save Page. 
Okay, so I'm gonna click save, save page. And you see right here, down on the bottom, it downloaded my page as an HTML file. And this page is sitting in my downloads. Right here in downloads, computer science, HTML. It's just a regular HTML file. Now, um, I can open it and if I click on it, um, like this, uh, my computer default opens it in Chrome and you can see that it actually opened a page that is in my downloads. This is the page that it opened. I'm gonna close that though. Um, what I can also do is open it in a editor. So right here I have Composer, which is an HTML editor, and I could do File, Open File. Um, and grab this one. Oop, nope, that didn't work. Um, let me go back to Composer and File, um, Open. Let me close Composer and reopen it. All right, because it's having a little hiccup right there. So I'm going to reopen Composer and start it again. There we go. Uh, close and I do um, open and get my out of my downloads and open it here. Okay, and I can look at it in a, in all the different ways. I can look at it as split source. However, I can, so I can look at the actual HTML document as source, as a source document and see how exactly how they made that with all the scripts and metadata and everything else that might be needed. Um, so those are my three things that I found. And I, obviously there's a, a lot more out there. Um, and there's some things that I've always used um, in my, in teaching um, over the years. But I just wanted to show those to you and I hope that you enjoyed them.